an appropriate moment to um, have a look at some of the pictures in the gallery, a closer inspection of some of your work. Okay, let's go to this piece of Night Raven artwork. As soon as I saw this, I was reminded of a particular scene in V for Vendetta. Do you know which one I mean? You know, uh, not, not a specific scene. The scene where V sits next to the doctor who experimented on him in the concentration camps. She's startled by his presence, but is calm and accepts the situation and the inevitable outcome. And this scene, this Night Raven scene, reminds me of that almost exactly. This leads on to the question, since Night Raven precedes V for Vendetta, that if there was no Night Raven, there would be no V for Vendetta. Oh, no, they couldn't, because, but they're just by sheer, I mean, you know, just by sheer, it was just history, because uh, I did Night Raven for an uh, editor called Des Skin, who actually created uh, uh, Warrior, which was the magazine that they appeared in. But Des used to work for uh, Marvel. And uh, I, when I did Night Raven, uh, it was obviously a Marvel character. And, uh, but, but Des wanted a similar kind of character for Warrior. So basically, you know, because I'd worked on Night Raven, he said to me, well, look, would you do something that's similar to Night Raven? And uh, so that's how, how V came about, because it was, a, it was similar, i.e. Uh, a masked crime fighter, a masked vigilante. Uh, but uh, of course, you know, that was the very, the very basic um, uh, embryo for, uh, for, for, for Vendetta, but yeah. Without, without this character, uh, yeah, the V would not have, uh, have existed. But they, they haven't recognised the value of it, and uh, I mean, I, I actually thought they might reissue this um, when uh, the Vendetta movie came out because it had, you know, because it was, it was similar in style. Um, I mean, they have all the, the films, they have the, uh, they have the book, they own the book, but they didn't, and. Uh, uh, so, I don't know whether they'll do it in the future. I mean, in fact, there's a German publisher mm -hmm. uh, who does actually want to reissue it. He's a big fan of, uh, of it, so, uh, so Panini in Germany might be doing it this year, but I don't know about Marvel in America. Excellent. Here's yet another one of your motifs.